the prequel would go great. They're like, I'm excited. I'd get there. And the way I was presenting price wasn't conducive. Uh, it was more of like, hey, look, this is what the property is worth. And I remember walking away from presentations for $5,000, $10,000. Another agent would come, list it at their price, sell it in a week or s reduce the price one time, and then it would be sold. So one of the things that I also like to go over with clients as it relates to price is I, I have examples on my iPad. So I have an Excel sheet where we outline every single offer that we receive on all of our listings. And if they're considering the more uh, aggressive strategies, one of their concerns will be like, well, look, I don't want to price it there because if I price it there, people are always going to want to come down. Meaning if I price it at a million dollars, everybody's going to want to offer me like 950 or 900. So they think that if you price it higher, if they offer you less, then they end up at the number that they want. So in order to address that, I actually bring that Excel sheet and I'm able to show them that because that's honestly a limiting belief or it's not true. Meaning like if that were true, I might as well price it at 10 million and then I'll end up with maybe 9 million for a million dollar home. But it's not true because otherwise that would be the case. So um, I like to show them examples and I'll say, well, look, um, uh, I understand where you're coming from. Uh, it's a valid uh, concern. So here's what I like to show you. So this is a property in your neighborhood that we had on the market uh, X time. Uh, this property received a total of 10 offers, and then I'm able to walk them through the offers. So I'll be like, look, the first offer came in at this. The next offer came in at that. The next offer came in at that. Um, this was our list price. And then I'll be like, then we countered back like a highest and best. And this is what we ended up uh, selling for that right there. For me, it kind of shows them multiple things. One, it shows them that like, if it, that, that is not true. Meaning that if, if the property is worth more, the buyers won't let it sell for less because they'll drive up the price to market value. Um, it also let the, lets them know that like, hey, look, this guy knows how to sell properties because he's receiving more than one offer on the property. And it also lets them know um, sort of your process. So for me, it gives me a little bit of uh, time to be able to kind of showcase the way that I handle situations where we have more than one offer. And I find that uh, if, if you can showcase that the right way, people appreciate that. And they're like, whoa, this guy actually knows what they're doing. Um, and uh, they look at you a little bit different uh, as well, uh, too, because you know how to handle that situa situation. Just a little tip there uh, uh, in regards to a couple of things that you can uh, present additionally as it relates to price. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this short segment of the podcast. If you're interested in watching another short segment, click here. If you're interested in watching the entire podcast or the entire interview, click here. Thank you so much and make it a great day.